Well, it may be quiet now, but the monsoon surely took the valley by storm, destroying property and causing people to evacuate their homes. This is video from yesterday. It all started with a massive wall of dust that rolled into town, then high winds, a lot of rain, really a torrential downpour, which also resulted in flooding in the mayor area. Now, this is the destruction left behind from homes that were just flattened to walls down, tiles off of roofs and even power outages. Mother Nature showed her might. And in fact, people living in one Goodyear community say they're happy to be able to just get into their neighborhood today. That's right. This comes after a power transmission tower came crashing down during last night's storm and blocked the entrance into the gated community. Team Tolls Monica Garcia has more with neighbors. This electrical tower you see behind me, thankfully it's turned off now, but it blocked people for more than 12 hours from coming in and out of the subdivision right behind it. This is what a power transmission tower is supposed to look like. And now they look like paper clips that were just folded up. But after Thursday evening, storms swept through the valley, hitting areas like Buckeye Valley and Goodyear the hardest. That's pretty much my roof. Freight train. It, it just came blowing through. This is what's left of it. This, yeah, this is probably the, the, the top of it here. With winds strong enough to topple not only trees, but the electrical tower blocking all entrance and exit routes at this Estrella Mountain Ranch neighborhood. We were trapped. We couldn't leave the property. President Sean Bernardi shot this video of the storm. Hey, that's why they blocked it. They were worried with all the rain that um, the power lines were going to electrocute all the ground around. Well, they had it blocked off actually a little bit further back up there. And then I tried to walk in and couldn't. Husband and father of two, Tom Gutwin, was one of the neighbors who couldn't get home. I spent the night at my brother's house and am attempting again now in the morning. Crew spent the day cleaning up and restoring power. The Red Cross offering food and water, a place to cool down at Estrella Foothills High School. We were the lucky ones this time. There were no reports of injuries. I never thought anything could bring these towers down. I mean, I think they're, I, I thought that's why they're big steel structures. And cleanup is expected to take weeks. So if you can see the electrical towers behind me, they're about 200 feet tall. That's what they look like intact. And right now we believe at least a couple toppled over last night. And Estrella Ranch Mountain, I'm Monica Garcia, 12 News.